So the next operator we are trying out is of course Gaio. Uh, like uh, Amaru, he is uh, a fairly straightforward operator. He has these shields, which uh, hold this little fire liquid, which is going to be bad news for any white masks trying to enter here. Because uh, we can detonate these, or rather we'll have to shoot them. You, you can't detonate them in the old-fashioned way, uh, but you'll, ha you'll simply have to shoot them. Uh, and of course the enemy can shoot them as well. So they work a little bit uh, both ways. And But even a badly placed one can contribute to the team. Uh, it's not like uh, Amaru where her gadget needs to be used in an effective manner. Uh, because if it doesn't, well, you're gonna end up being uh, shot as you enter, but these ones are a hindrance. I mean, they're, they're perfect for delaying an advance. And even when you... Especially the AI seems to be very unkeen on when it's safe to actually move because we had we just basically had the white mask AI basically decided nah we're just moving through this I'm just gonna set up a reinforce here to cover that wall I also think oh that's nice they actually blew up the shield here they used explosives to just knock the shield out rather than Stop setting breach charges. There we go. We have uh, 24 seconds until the next wave. And uh, yeah, here it is. We'll refill all the supplies we can. Defensive against the white masks is always a bit more difficult than being offensive. Now, there's not, not really much to say about Gaio, other than the fact that his shield is actually fairly useful, it's, even in sex battles such as this. So we're gonna set up a second reinforce here. We are gonna try and funnel the enemy, so they must use the entrances. And since we don't have any more shields, we'll need to simply reinforce and barricade whatever we can. And it's done. Of course, the white masks are gonna take the sweet time getting here. Their their AI on the attack doesn't be all that different. Their AI on the defense was absolutely. Different. Yeah, I'm so dead. So fucking dead. Alright, so we'll try that again, but this time we are gonna switch up our guns, try and use the different guns. I don't know if the rate of fire on the... on the uh, gun actually works against me or not. But for, for some reason I don't feel like I am synchronizing as well with Gaio as I do with... Uh, Amaru. I really enjoyed Amaru. So if you haven't checked that video, just do so. It should be up now. We'll do a no vote. We are gonna switch to the shotgun. We are gonna use the angled grip. We are gonna check the barrels. And of course we're gonna switch to the nitro cell rather than the impact. Reinforce the area. Alright, so we are on, t on the top floor here, so we'll need to find a de First of all, we're going to push this place so the white mask doesn't enter through it. Anything to delay them is good for us. Then, of course, we will have a shield placed right there. Hostile insertion, keep the hostage safe. 
and the second one here. And I'll s I think I'm gonna save the last one for the next one. I'm I, c I can't barricade this opening here. It would be nice if I could. Oh, and w with the angled grip, this shotgun snap too is just absolutely insane. I think the shotgun is going to be the more sensible choice rather than the vector, especially since both have long range, long range uh, potential. Oh, uh, hoisted by my own petard right there. They they shot they they shot my shield and and since they shot my shield, uh, I got cocked in the blast as well, and I got completely overwhelmed. Let's let's try that again. But I have to say, I really love the fact that just because I was close to the shield, basically meant that I would be injured by. Uh, the fire as well. I mean that is nice design because it means you can't just stand on the other side of the shield. The shield has to be defended from range. So I'm gonna go no vote again and Gaio again. Come on, no out. There we go. Hostiles regrouping. Secure the hostage. So we're setting up the defenses here, and we're going to set up the shield basically the same way. We'll attach you to that. Hostile insertion, prepare to engage. And we'll fix the risk line of lines in order to set up the reinforcements here. Now we'll need to be careful. Need to keep an eye. Has eyes on okay, so at least this. Oh, you're not dead. This time we did a better job of it. The enemy have really tried to just move through the fire there and paid the price. Eliminated. So since this worked perfectly, we'll just replace the shield. Secure the area. We're also blowing the, out the hatch here. And I think we're gonna place a C4 trap there so we can blow that should we need to. And we're gonna place a shield right here as well. That way we have uh, most of the avenues connected at least. And of course we are... Uh, we're not gonna refill just yet because we need the detonate button to be available. I really, I really like the new sidelines here. Pretty good. Where is the enemy? Where is the enemy? Come on, you little tiny enemy. Where are you? Okay, so we got one with the C4. Five, top four has visual on the hostage. You're on fire, boy! Three enemies left. Shotgun to the face! Yeah, I really like him better with the shotgun. The threat has been eliminated. Reinforce the area. Uh, we are out of the shields, so we'll have no choice but to simply barricade this. And hopefully we can grab at least another C4. So we'll have a, tr a similar trap as the one we set up earlier. Now... The interesting part is that uh, using C4 as a trap has a bit fallen out of style as of late. 
uh, can't really tell you why, but uh, mo most likely people just like to just throw it. I would say that uh, if they want to make the C4 more of a trap thingy, uh, they would have to reduce the noise the C4 makes, but I can also understand why that sound is there. But right now the C4 is basically used as a frag grenade. Come on, boys. This way. <clears throat> oh, there's ten of them now. We'll have to see when they... Okay, so that's at least one. We are in big fucking trouble here. I can't even see what I'm firing at and I need to revive the hostage. Three of them remaining. I don't have a choice, I need to revive him. Pistol, go. Alright, last one. This time I think I'm gonna place the C4 trap right there because it seems like they are more keen to be on that part of the map. So, refill the supplies, make sure we have more of them. Hostile insertion, prepare to engage. We'll just simply set up barricades here to try and delay whatever advance the enemy might be trying from this direction. And of course the hatch, just in case. I got the A breach charge, but I also m completely miscalculated on where they would be. Okay, so two less to worry about. Lots of smoke. Three left. That was literally the last guy, and he had used a charge to go through a location I was completely certain was here. At any rate, I do like Gaia. He's pretty straightforward. His traps can do terrible, terrible damage. But he, he's also very interesting in that uh, you, have, you can't just place it willy-nilly. You'll have to consider where your own stuff are. So... That would be a favorable first impression. He has a strong ability that requires some skill to use.